Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. He's coming after me. <gasps> oh. What is up, everybody? Trevor here, and how y'all doing? New week, new round. We are on round two. We're going to be uh, playing, obviously, Phasmophobia, and it's going up against Ghost Exorcism Inc. Next week, yeah, next Friday will be Forewarn versus Remnant Records. So if you remember the last round, round one. Okay. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! 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 I got away. Ah! Let's get into it. So, we got a new type of uh, scoring. So first, we're gonna score the shops. How they look. Piece of paper. You can also play games. And then you can also play Jenga. But yeah, so, just kinda keep going down. And I did, like, when, when they did the update and they cleared everybody's levels, you know, it was kind of, kind of sad. But I do like how they have all the equipment here. It's kind of nice looking. I do like the cabinets that you can show off the things that you got. Like, I got this guy. Yeah. We're going in the van later. That's going to be another part of the reviewing. This part is quite easy to understand. You know where to click. Four people, they can all, you can all pick whatever spot you want and then it randomizes it. Or you can just do a random. I do like that. I do like the easiness of this. These are your first tiers, second tier, third tier. Uh, easy to do the difficulties. You do have customs you can do, which is kind of fun. And you get different challenges that you can do as well. And then you have this setup which is it is a little bit confusing but it is still nice but for me i gave the i, I gave the shop a eight out of ten i think it's it's nice i don't like that you can't use any of the equipment i gave it eight out of ten pretty good but let's get into the game all right now in the van it is laid out nice and easy you have your screens you got your um sanity your map uh, if you put out uh, sound sensors and your activity it's easy to grab stuff and put stuff back this this is kind of boring same thing if, like you know it has a few different phrases i, I wish i put a little bit more into it i liked the camera yeah, the simpleness of this i do enjoy that i do like the new camera stands where you can actually move your camera i gave the van Phasmophobia, a 9 out of 10. Just because it's nice and easy, and I just enjoy it. Okay, right, let's grab some gear. Just done so nicely. Alright. Grab the key. Gotta grab the key, people. Gotta find the bone. But also, the, uh, now for the equipment. I like the equipment. They, they, they ooh. Here we go. <laughs> and Phasmophobia, it's... Ah! Aww. Oh, huh. well, I know where it's at. I need to find the bone still. Quickly go around and see if we can't find it. Whew, that scared me. But yeah, so like the equipment is nice. It's easy to use. I like the tier list that they have going with it now. Upgrade and everything, which is nice. All right, I'm going to look for this bone. Okay, I found the bone. It was upstairs. But yeah, so I wanted to come back to the van and show you like, like the equipment. Like the equipment's great. It makes me very happy that they did it like that. There you go. So we know where the ghost is. Oh, we'll put this, that like that. And let's go check the van. So we get to see a little bit more of the van on how stuff kind of works as well. And so this is what I mean. I love this. And you just click on it again to stop it. Like it's so nice, so easy. I don't know how good this angle is going to be anyways. There's stuff going on over there. We're not going to stare at this camera the whole time. All right, back in here. Are you here? Where are you? How old are you? How young are you? So there's different phrases you have to say. You can't say whatever you want. How old are you? Okay, back to the van. Now it does not say, it does not speak all the time. So you have to try it a few times before you say, oh, it's it's not the spirit box. The new uh, thermometer is, is kind of cool. You have to keep, you have to keep your, uh, right button down right click 9.8 and uh, it reads the room hello oh oh man i'm not getting anything and it's trying to kill me all right we're going back in it looks like stuff is going on in here oh 
But we'll have to wait and see. That right there. Don't want the uh, don't want to make the ghost to have to like, you know, bend over that far. That's rude. Yeah, you can see your breath, but that doesn't mean it's a negative. But this ghost is aggressive. Ah! Okay. So we have dots. Yes. That scared me a little. Leave me alone. Okay. Let's go grab some something else. Woo! Alright, so now we do have a little bit of evidence, which makes this book very nice and easy. So we had dots. Uh, it takes away ghosts that it can't be. Nice and easy. I love it. So we got salt. So you get salt, gets you more pictures, and it actually helps you figure out where they're at, too. So we're going to just uh, throw a little bit of salt there. A little bit of salt there. You can also check the, the footprints for UV light, which they don't have. We want that. I still want the camera because I can see um, ghost orbs and stuff. And there's ghost orbs. Nice. They so go back into here, and you cross off ghost orbs. So this is what you, this is what we're working with right now. So we can go through. All right. So it could be any one of these still. Was it the EMF earlier? I don't remember. But let's go back in, and if it's the banshee, it will scream. Ooh. I want this other footprint. More money. Come on. That's not the banshee. That's just a ghost talking to me. Oh, throw the my book. That's rude. You write in that book. Don't make me do it. Ah. Okay. All right, we're gonna try the EMF again. Still throwing stuff. Okay. So it is EMF level five, and that's a Raiju. With all that being said, with the ooh, it's getting a little feisty in there. Um, the equipment. Yeah, I'm giving equipment nine out of ten. I love the equipment. I'm still not the greatest with the crucifix and like uh, getting out of the ghost hunts. I'm no good at that. That's why it doesn't get like perfect scores. But uh, with that, uh, it's a 26 out of 30. So amazing score as always with Phasmophobia. <laughs> uh, let's get to the next game. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. So now we're in Ghost Exorcism Inc, which you can see that you can use the tools. They do have like, you know, it looks like curse objects. But I do like the fact that you can actually get information, learn about each of the... There we go. And they have like little testing areas for you to do it too. It definitely makes it a lot easier. And yeah, it's just, it's a lot nicer. And that's what I look like. I look like Triple H. And this is your kind of like main board that you look at. You select a contract. So you're looking for different contracts. And each contract, I'm waiting for some more to load up. All right, so a few different kind of, and I, you know, they range, they have different little functions and figure it out. So let's just click on one of these. Let's, yeah, why not? Select that. Uh, three evidence, one entity. I'm not too sure what that means. Actually, let's, let's find one that's not three to five players. Find one that's a, like a smaller place. Let's see. One to two players. There we go. Same, everything else is the same except for the bonus. All right, with this one, all you have to do, you have to go into the van. Nothing in here yet. And we drive away. So the shop, I'm giving that a nine out of 10. Uh, they did a good job on that. I have to say that. Now onto the van and uh, your tablet that you get. It's okay. I don't like how it's set up, you know. Like it, it is easy to get to. Uh, this stuff updates each time an entity is detected. You know, it gets a little confusing. Uh, these are objectives to get done. Uh, the tablet is pretty easy. It's not that easy. You have to kind of keep going over and figuring it out. All right, let's get geared up and head on in. So the van for me and the tablet, it gets like this has an encyclopedia too. I would say it gets, yeah, this, this gets a uh, eight. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for that. Alright, uh, now for the equipment. I don't like the fact that you can't keep your flashlight on. Like, in this one, you have to turn on lights. If you, But if you turn on too many lights, it shuts it off. Oh, found the back. But yeah, so I don't like that. 
To me, that's kind of annoying. Most of the equipment is, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Like you got your thermostat here. If you go back to the van, just just like Phasmophobia, you go back to the van and you got different like little tools in here that you can use as well. Your camera, uh, drinks that you need, spirit box. Yeah, they all do different things. Let's go back in. I know this is not really part of it. I do find it a little bit harder to find ghosts in this game. Ah! You see that? Was not expecting. What the? There's a person. Take this person outside. I don't know what that is. I want to protect this person. You're safe. Okay, so I don't know what that was. That's it was kind of freaky. Where are you? Huh? Okay, so we got a five on that one. Just in case you have to close that door, they come after you. So go in here. So level five. That's how that works. All right, pick some new ones. We're going in. Let's yeah, get a scan. Go up. This. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh god, it did. Ch it came after me. It did come after me. That's what it does in this game, they come right at you. This tool I find really difficult. Let's uh, let's see how this guy fares with this. Come here. Let's see if this does anything anyways. Come on, where's that green ball? Come at me, bro. Where are you? Ah! That's, that's the other thing. Like, you don't really know what does, what goes with what. You need to be closed. Oh, a team member witnessed an entity hit a door. Oh, perfect. I got a got an objective. Let's try something else. Let's let's do this and take a picture of it lifting that. I think that's that should be good. Oh, I think I made a bad. I think I made a bad. Did I make a mad? I don't know if I did anything there. All right, let's uh try something else here. Let's go in with this. Let's see what happens. I really just I, I really don't know. Yeah, that's right. I got incense here. Now you need a- ah! No. No, no, no. Did some incense. Alright, we'll go try uh, a couple other things here. Oh, that was just smoking. Crucifix smoked. I saw that, you saw that, we both saw that. We all saw that. So we got smoke crucifix. These are the ghosts. So poltergeist, activate defenses. I do like the pictures, that's it's kind of cool. Yeah, use for equipment. All right, that makes sense. So for the equipment, I am rating them at a 7.5 out of 10. They are difficult to use, a uh, little bit difficult to use. You really gotta, not saying that's a bad thing, but I like with Fast Rover, you can just pop it in there. You can figure that out. So yeah, 7.5, but that gives this game an overall rating of 24.5 out of 30, which as you know, does not beat out. Uh, what else should I get? All right, we're heading back in. The see if we can get anything on here. Oh boy, nothing in the book. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. He's coming after me. <gasps> oh! What is this thing? What the heck? Guy keeps coming after me. He scares me. I haven't put one of these. Did you just see him in that, that window? And he sees me. Rude. Alright, I got the camera in there. Ooh, what's this? Incense the entity. Oh, apparently that was something. Oh, glow sticks. So. It could be a wisp, but I don't know. But I think that's going to be it, because I'm not going to be able to figure this out. Let's go cleanse the area. I might die. Run away! Yeah, he's mad. He's mad! Oh. I think I have it selected. I have no clue. But this is how you go back and on the vehicle. We'll see what happens. I really don't know. Okay, so I guess I, I I got the classification right. It was a wisp, so yay! You got like, cause I got the smoke crucifix, and the money I got is one hundred seventeen dollars, and then my bank five hundred fifty eight. But yeah, so that's it is a good game. You should try it out. I believe it, and I think it's just gonna get better. But I hope you all enjoyed. If you uh, tell me in the comments if you agree with me or if you don't agree with me, let me know. Let me let me know what you think. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and hope you all have a great week. Later.